That's just something I became aware of. Okay guys, it's time to have a conversation. This is me voluntarily giving myself an intervention. Why do I need an intervention, you may ask? Well, I give to you Exhibit A. This is all I consumed yesterday. Exhibit B. You know that moment when you didn't sleep all night because you were too busy scrolling on TikTok? And it's now 20 to 6. Yeah, we love that for me. Should I just not sleep and then crash? I'm like, oh, my sleep hurts so bad, I wanna cry. Update, it's now 7. I hate myself. And exhibit C. Do you see my problem? I have been neglecting my existence. I go through these phases quite often and this one is um, quite problematic. So I thought, how do I solve my problems? I turn basic healthcare into a video which forces me to tackle the issue. A very healthy coping mechanism, highly recommend. So I did a bit of online shopping, you know, my favorite thing, which is another problem I have. And I bought this. So should we unbox it? Okay. Wow. That is massive. I'm gonna attempt to drink a gallon of water every single day for this week. And hopefully for the rest of my life. We shall see. The reasons I bought this one, it has like times on the water bottle of how much water you should have drunk by that time. It says 7 a.m. Good morning. Bold of you to assume I wake up at 7 a.m. A quick Google search tells me that there are many benefits to drinking water. Okay. Let's do this. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's heavy. Oh my God. But like, who, do people carry this around with them? But like, what if you like have to go to work and stuff? Are people expected to go around with them? With like, oh my God, I bet. This is like a workout. I best get buff arms after this. Well, even, not even arms. I'm just gonna get like one really strong right arm and then this one's just gonna be limp. When I'm stressed or when I'm sad, the last thing I wanna do is eat. I just, I can't bring myself to do that. I just don't have an appetite whatsoever. So, you know, recently I've been feeling down and as a result, I have not been eating properly. And we need to fix that. I'm gonna fix that this week. I'm gonna eat, not only just eat, but eat like good food. Now to make some sushi. If you guys don't know, during quarantine, I have become obsessed with sushi. And then like, literally all the supermarkets have been out of stock of sushi rice. I think I'm not the only one who's become obsessed with sushi during lockdown because you can't find sushi rice in any of my local supermarkets. But I did find it at a Korean store and I stocked up. Now look who's talking. Time to make some sushi. Yeah, baby. Also, look at my ramen collection. It's really coming along, isn't it? It's beautiful. We love to see it. Well, we don't because it's bad. This week, no ramen, I promise. I'm really weak right now, right? And I can't pick it up. Hopefully by the end of the week, this will be like nothing. It'll be like water. It'll be like picking up water. That's how light it'll be. Get it? <sighs> Someone stop me. Okay, let's actually make sushi. Sushi is healthy, right? The way I eat sushi is I drown it in chili oil. I'm like obsessed. This is a chili oil I use and it is so good. Here we have a visual example of Taz having a conversation in her mind. I think this is the part Taz realizes her whole life is a lie. <sighs> I feel like I'm gonna get to a point where I'm gonna be, there's gonna be so much water in me that I'm gonna walk and you can hear the water in my belly just going Basically, I'm gonna be like this. I, I wasn't successful yesterday. I didn't drink all my water. I don't know what that sound was. I woke up this morning and I had this thought. I realized I don't do a lot of things to make me happy. I've been feeling really down this past week, but I haven't really done anything to make myself feel better. I thought today I would come up with a list of things to do. I am kind of spend today just working on myself. Just, you know, give myself some love. Make myself feel a bit better. Skincare. I do love skincare. Skincare is a new found love of mine. I discovered it during quarantine and I am obsessed. Up until quarantine, I have never been a skincare person. I've never, all I used to do is wash my face with water in the morning. That was it. 
that was the peak of my skincare. But now I'm like trying all these different products and I'm obsessed. These are the products I use in the morning. I also use sunscreen, but I forgot to show that. First things first, I put on my cleanser. And you'll be happy to know that I cleaned my mirror because it was really gross. So yeah, as I was saying, this cleanser right here, I put on my face, it's great. And then I use the Ordinary Niacinamide Serum. And lastly, I put on the Centella Gel Moisturizer. It's the first moisturizer I've ever used that doesn't feel heavy on my face. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my morning skincare routine. Another day, more water and sushi. I thought I'd mess around with makeup today. I haven't tried any of these colors out yet. So I thought I would, oh, you know, purple would look really cool actually. Since getting into the whole aesthetic thing, I've been watching so many aesthetic fashion videos um, and I just love colors. I realize I'm all about the color at the moment. I actually really liked how this makeup turned out. I kind of look like a Disney villain. I also tried the TikTok Vogue challenge. Feel free to check all my posts on TikTok and Instagram. Link to all my social medias in the bio. I thought I would read your comments. I say that, I can't even say. You look like Vanessa Hudgens. Girl, don't even say it. Don't, don't, don't. When I was in high school, I was obsessed with High School Musical. I knew all the ways to songs and I would reenact all the songs, even though I can't sing. And I wanted to be Vanessa Ann Hudgens so bad. I mean, I don't think I look anything like Vanessa at all. But uh, thank you so much for saying that. Teenage Taz is crying right now. Taz, the last four minutes of your video is so deep and meaningful. How you open up and tell your story is commendable. You're beautiful inside and out. I, can't, I need to get my glasses, I can't see. Oh, that is so much better. Hope I can meet you one day and give you a hug. Thank you so much for being so sweet, by the way. That's super nice. I love how YouTube recommended a reply and it sounds so fake. You are so welcome. The Eagles have all been pretty quiet since then. <sighs> I will pay to learn how to do my hair like Taz's curls, honestly. <laughs> you sure about that? Girl, you don't have to pay because it's online for free. And it was a whole mess. People who didn't know, Taz swears. <laughs> she does. She uses the words and I've censored out the words. Don't believe me? Go to her spoken word poetry and look at the description. Not hating. I support the channel for a long time, so don't think this is hate. I don't know why that sounded like I was getting exposed or getting called out. So I used to swear in my videos. Back in the day, I used to do a lot of spoken word poetry and I had an older audience. But as my channel grew, I started to get a lot of younger audience and it just didn't feel right to swear when they could be like a 12 year old, 13 year old watching. So I made a conscious decision to just not swear on camera. She is so visually pleasing that she needs her own aesthetic. Taz aesthetic. This needs to become a thing. Yeah, somehow I don't see that becoming a thing. Taz, I don't normally comment on videos, but I'm sat here bawling my eyes out because the bit at the end of the video. I've never related to something someone said so much in my life. You've just given me the pep talk I desperately needed to try and live the last two years being a teenager without regrets. Amy, I wish you all the best and I wish you all the luck and I'm so glad that you're gonna choose to live your life to the fullest. I hope the last two years of your teenage years are incredible. I love you so much, Taz. I love you too. Chloe, this video made me feel good about myself. Yes. Yes, we love that for you. Which I haven't probably felt my whole life. After seeing you find yourself and battle your insecurities, it's made me want to work on my own. Thank you. Dude, that makes me really happy. Wait, do you have a nose piercing? Uh, yes, I do. I don't know if you can see it. See that little dot there? Um, I've had it for like eight years now. Do you listen to Girl in Red? Uh, no, I don't know who that is. I actually saw this comment a lot. Let me check who they are. Oh, it's the TikTok song. The song is on TikTok. My girl, my girl. Ooh, I have, ooh, I'm probably really loud. Okay, sorry. I will check them out. They're quite vibey. I like it a lot. I love how I watched Taz turn from depressed in fine hoodie to t-shirt Harvard hoodie. Taz is thriving. Update, I realized at the end she had a hoodie. <laughs> wow, the disappointment. Girl, this hoodie ain't going nowhere. This hoodie is who I am to the core. 
period. Taz, your mini fridge is meant for beauty products. I didn't even know that was a thing. Since when do we have a fridge dedicated to skincare? New video idea, trying manifesting and the law of attraction. I've seen people do it, but I don't know how legit it is and you're always real. So, girl, my whole life is the product of manifestation and the law of attraction. This was me three years ago, sad, broke, and lost. Now I'm doing my dream job, I get to travel, well, not right now, but get to travel, and I'm independent. If that ain't law of attraction, I don't know what is. So yeah, in short, I'm living proof that it works. I miss old Taz. She is now getting into all the trendy stuff. This is my opinion, don't hate. Okay, <laughs> so I know this is coming from a place of love, but at the same time, I find this mentality quite negative. With the whole trendy stuff, I think they're talking about like how I'm wearing makeup and dressing up. 90% of the time, I'm not. I'm still wearing the hoodies and stuff like that. But there's also nothing wrong with changing things up and evolving and growing. It shouldn't be about old Taz, new Taz. It should be whether that person is happy. If that person is happy and they're growing in a positive way, Everyone should encourage that. Anyone watching this right now that's not in a good place and wants to get better but is scared to change because of what people might say, please don't let that distract you from your focus. It's okay to put yourself first and to do what feels right to you. If you're not happy with your current situation and you want to change that, go for it. Taz has the best and most wholesome fan base ever, I swear, which is a great reflection of her channel. Yes! Preach, sis. I get people telling me how nice my audience is and how lovely the comment section is and how positive it is and how wholesome it is. You guys make me so proud. Can we just take a moment to appreciate the art? The level of artistry right now. The talent. Sometimes I look at these art and I'm just in shock. You guys give me a lot of love and I wanted to put all of that in like one space and like kind of build a community. I want to create a hashtag called the It's Fine Taz hashtag. You can use it in the comment section, you can use it on Twitter, you can use it on Instagram. If you're really feeling yourself and you're feeling super confident, check a selfie in there with hashtag It's Fine Taz. If you just want to share something like your art, your hobby, memes, send me all the memes and every week i'm going to check that hashtag out i'm going to select a few posts and put them in the video get posting get tweeting get instagramming get commenting and hopefully i'll pick yours and your feature in the next video this week's it's fine taz post is from at marvel underscore djh she makes my merch look so good i feel like this perfectly encapsulates what the it's fine message is all about even though we're struggling even though we're a hot mess we're still gonna work it because at the end of the day it's fine despite everything that the world is throwing at us right now we're still gonna choose to be fine it's fine it's fine i mean it's not but it's fine i just put on skinny jeans for the first time in like ages because why would you choose to put on skinny jeans when you're in quarantine? But I noticed that they fit me so much better. They used to be kind of tight, but now they got a lot of stretch in them. Then I lifted my shirt and realized, what's going on here, pal? I don't think my belly has been this defined ever. Now, I don't know if it's because of drinking water and eating better, but that's just something I became aware of. I think it's just my body getting rid of the water weight. Because, like I said, I have a lot of ramen, and ramen has a really high sodium level in it, which makes my face and my whole body really bloated and puffy. So I think it's just the water's getting rid of all that water weight now. And my appetite was back. I mean, I wasn't eating great, but at this point, I was just happy that I was eating again, to be honest with you. I can't believe it took me this long to figure out that I could have just used scissors my whole life. It would have made my life so much easier. I've always struggled cutting pizza, but now, this it's revolutionary people and that my friends is a life hack i bet everyone watching this has probably been doing this for years and i'm really late to the club but for the one person that may not know this trick you're welcome i went off blueberries for a little bit after the mug video and i'm trying to be brave and get back into them hey I also went out and bought some vitamins and products for my hair. They had a penny sale, which meant that you could get a product for one P. I repeat, you could get a product for one P. I mean, I love good health, but I love a bargain more. 
I saw this video on TikTok of someone who used to have really thin hair and then she tried this out and it worked for her. I don't know if it's gonna work for me, but desperate times calls for desperate measures. So she basically put a mixture of coconut oil, castor oil, and sweet almond oil on her roots, like two to four times a week. And she also took biotin tablets. This is the ready-made mixture. And apparently, I just put it on my roots. In a few months time, let's pray that I have thicker hair. Okay, cool. One thing that got progressively worse is my sleeping pattern. It's currently 11 a.m. I haven't slept at all, but I'm not, I don't know if my fridge is gonna get fixed or when it's gonna get fixed, but my work tops are getting done. I'm currently getting my kitchen done. I came at like eight in the morning. I haven't woken up that early in months so like in order to wake up early i just didn't sleep because i'm an idiot they've also come to look at the fridge so hopefully that gets sorted too that would be great okay ending thoughts let's do this ending sentiments to this video is oh i've been forgot oh, i forgot to take my tablets oh i have i still have really bad memory gotta make sure you get your vitamins hun gotta stay strong and healthy don't you this is the most water i've drunk ever yeah, I still find myself craving water. It's like, the more water you drink, the more thirsty you are. Like it literally makes no logical sense. It turns out drinking a gallon of water is actually pretty easy. Let me go through the benefits of water and see if I've um, accomplished them. Forms saliva and mucus. Sure. It boosts skin health and beauty. What do you think, guys? Has it made an impact on my skin? I don't know. Skin does feel soft. It feels all right, I guess. It regulates body temperature. I mean, I'm feeling pretty hot right now. I'm joking, I'm joking. Um, it regulates body temperature. It flushes body waste. I mean, I have been peeing a lot. Okay, I'll be honest with you, most of the benefits are internal and I am not a doctor, so I can neither confirm nor deny the results. But generally speaking, I am feeling better. I'm feeling so much more myself. I feel more energetic, I feel more active um, and just happier mentally, I would say there's been a massive improvement. I'm feeling much more myself. I don't know if this is true or not, but apparently drinking a gallon of water a day helps with weight loss. Now, it is not my intention to lose weight. If anything, I want to put on weight, but um, I did notice that it kind of toned my body. But the main thing I got from this video is changing my mindset. I realized that if I want to be this strong, independent woman, or a version of myself that I'm proud of, then I need to be my own best friend. I need to take care of my body and be kind to myself, even when I don't feel like it. Because at the end of the day, I'm all I have. Like literally, right now, I am all I have. This week was an emotional reset. Sometimes it's okay to take a step back to work on yourself. It's okay to not be okay. It's okay to allow yourself to feel all the things that you're feeling and it's okay to take the time out to work on yourself and heal. That's something I don't do a lot. <laughs> so this week was focusing on my health and part of that was drinking water, but it was also eating. Not even eating better, just eating. Mental health. Do things that make me happy. We live in a society that's so go, 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 and you're always expected to be like on the top of your game, always doing something, being super productive. And that's just not realistic. We're human. Sometimes we're a little broken inside and we need time to heal. And I am feeling a lot better. I am feeling much more myself. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I am back, baby. So that is my concluding thoughts. I'm gonna be my own best friend. I encourage all of you guys to be your own best friend and then we can all live happily ever after. The end. I think I'm losing it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please know that you matter. I love you lots and I shall see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, bye. Oh, also, hashtag it's fine Taz. Cannot wait to see all your posts. Love you, bye.